Police say that McNeil cut his own wrist after he strangled Guy Vronsky. McNeil had been in the hospital for the last few days, but officials tell me he's out now, which led to the judge asking why he's not in court. I don't have to set any bail today. Confusion in the courtroom as the judge tried to determine the reason for delaying bail. I mean, it's one thing if he's refusing or if he's medically unavailable. It's another thing if he's waiving his appearance and his attorney is appearing on his behalf. According to police, James McNeil has been slowing the justice process from the start. Probable cause documents I obtained say the six foot two and more than 300 pound former Bothell council member strangled 20 year old Lilia Guy Voronsky in her own home. The documents say McNeil wrapped her naked body in a blanket and left her on the bed. Then McNeil waited about 24 hours before calling his own attorney to report the crime to 911. Caller is not providing a lot of information, but said that he's an attorney and was notified to represent a male that lives inside the home, and then said he believes that a homicide had taken place, but would not elaborate further on that. Police say McNeil cut his own wrist and was taken to Harborview Medical Center in Seattle. He's been in the hospital getting treatment since Tuesday, but now he's out. Is it your representation that he's still medically unavailable? He is not medically unavailable. Okay, so he could come out. He could, yes. Neighbors and friends of Guy Voronsky tell me they noticed McNeil in their community and thought it was strange. I know he had a pickup truck, so it was just unusual to see, you know, somebody that wasn't family that was that old maybe um, hanging out with her. According to probable cause documents, Guy Voronsky had written a note in her home saying to avoid James. Days after the murder, a bouquet addressed to Lily sits outside the young woman's home. There's a deadline in this case for Friday where charges must be filed, but even though those charges need to be filed, McNeil still might not appear in court. I've reached out to his attorney for comment. I have not heard back. Reporting here in Seattle, I'm AJ Janivel for Fox 13 News.